Hello everyone, it's Magdalena Wolf of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. I had the idea for a video today because, yeah, I'm curious. If you're working uh, with DTs in plural, <laughs> um, who are they? What are the, their names? Um, I would love to see some video responses or Instagram posts in response to this video so if you do that please tag me on Instagram so I can see it or um, if you make a video please write it in the comments below so I don't miss it even though <laughs> YouTube YouTube makes sure I often miss some comments and then I find them like three months later and yeah but anyway <laughs> Hopefully I won't miss them. And I will tell you about my um, DTs that are assisting me um, in various areas of my life. Because I, yeah, I've been thinking about it and I realized there are actually four that I call upon the most often. And if, you, if you've been watching my channel, you probably know this is my painting of my matron goddess, Gigi Lela or Lady Lela. And this is the figurine of, of hers that I have. And um, yeah, she's my matron goddess. So she's like, her area is the broadest, I'd say. And but so like, general, my like relationship with divinity with uh, my spirituality and definitely self-love this is her and I also have uh, this this uh, praying bead set that I made so this is hers <laughs> and I have a prayer bead set for each of the deities I will be talking about today so um, just to make it clear, I'm a Slavic pagan, so my deities are <laughs> from the Slavic pantheon, of course. Um, but yeah, I'm, um, I do know a lot of gods and goddesses from various traditions, but I'm always happy to learn more. Uh, so yeah, please share yours with me and I will be very happy to, to see your uh, posts or videos. So this is her, and then uh, there, there is Yash, and I have two pictures of him. Here is in his spring version. All of these pictures have appeared on, on my channel, I suppose, but yeah, this is in his autumn. Uh, version. He's a thunder god, a uh, Polish Yash, uh, more widely known as Perun or Pierun. And to him I usually call upon for courage, for um, standing up for myself, to like to to find this piece of myself that that believes in myself. Right? for strength and this is the set I made for him so, so for um, Lela it's it's a swan I picked a swan for her and for him it's a wild boar well I could use different animals as well but that's what I picked for these sets anyway and look at that it's the same symbol it's uh, the six-pointed star or the rosette is often associated with him. So I used that. And then there is Nea or Veles, god of the underworld. Um, I have this figurine of him. And he assists me 
when I need to like realize what my anxieties are, what my fears are, um, when I'm doing shadow work, all of that stuff. He is there to to find to to help me understand to find out what's going on in the deepest of the deep within me. And this is this is the set I made for him, and it's a dragon. There's a little snakey here. So I said Naya, right? And he's uh, more widely known as Velas. And lastly, there is Majanna. And I also have these two uh, other pictures of her as like a young goddess, as the old goddess. And for me, she's the mistress of dreams. And a dream work is a very important part of my practice. Through dreams, I really learn a lot about myself, my current situation. And yeah, and she helps me. Uh, understand the dreams better to just get to the core uh, of course right now she's she's in this uh, <laughs> it's this half of the year when she's in the crone form and look at that you're, this is uh, the world of dreams that you're getting into and it's in her robes and this is the set I made for her it's with the little owl and garnet. Yeah, this is with garnet and moonstone and carnelian. Because I associate red with her since this is uh, mother, mother, uh, the plant, mother, M A D D E R. <laughs> Yeah. from which um, from which the red dye can be produced and that's in Polish it's Marzana so it's it's her name and for Nea I had what did I use yeah, I used uh, smoke quartz hematite and I think some sardonyx For Jujuela, I had glass pearls, white. This is Zoysite with ruby. And this is Lapis Lazuli, I think. Yeah. For she's a heavenly goddess. And what did I get for Yash? I did use a moonstone as well. And this is um, Azurite, I think. He's also a sky god, plus the tiger's eye for the power. So yeah, this is my uh, <laughs> little pantheon, because there are more, of course, Slavic deities, but I realized these are the most important for me, at least right now. And I, as I said, I would love to hear about yours. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.